Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Single Moms Live, and today we're doing another cook with me, but today is the 4th of July, y'all, so happy 4th of July, or happy belated 4th of July, and that's my baby in the background, he sees me, um, and he's just being him, y'all, um, but anyway, so this is what we're having, um, doing something a little different i'm not doing my traditional baked beans and potato salad because i'm not really having a taste for that so what we're having is we are going to have some barbecue ribs and this is some country style y'all um i'm going to um bake this chicken put some barbecue sauce on that as well we're going to have some macaroni and cheese i'm fixing to bake a cake and that's the first thing i'm going to do and also my mom she's coming over and i have some greens in the refrigerator and we're having some greens so that's what's on the menu, greens and cornbread, y'all. So that's what's on the menu for today. We're having some ribs, some chicken, some cake, macaroni and cheese, and then we have some greens and cornbread that we're going to have. But this is what we are having for our 4th of July dinner. So please um, stick around and see what this looks like. Um, a lot of this stuff I pretty much have already cooked for y'all. So I'm not going to show everything that I do because I've cooked all of this stuff already, the ribs, the chicken, and some macaroni and cheese and the cake y'all but uh, i will show y'all a little bit uh, of the process as i go along with cooking this okay y'all so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get this cake cooked and out of the way because i'm going to need my oven for my meat and for some cornbread so we're going to go ahead and get this fixed up real quick and all i got y'all is just it's just a box of uh, red velvet cake. This is it. My son loves this stuff. So that's why I'm cooking this for him. Okay, so we have three eggs that we're adding into here, y'all. My hands look a little dry. So we got three eggs, we got half a cup of oil, and then we're going to add one and one fourth cup of water. And then we're adding one and one cup of water. That's one, and that's one fourth. So I'm gonna fix to mix all this up, and I'm gonna use my blender, and we're gonna put it over in our, um, my bunt pan. <clears throat> we're gonna put it in this bunt pan and we're gonna cook a bunt cake, y'all. So let me go ahead and get all this mixed up. Okay, cake is ready to go. We're fixing to put this in the oven for um 40, 45 minutes at 375, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we have our meat all seasoned up. And now I'm just going to top this with some bell pepper and onion, y'all. And then we're going to put some aluminum foil over it and let it cook. And then we'll um, put the rest of these bell peppers and onion over chicken but here we go all right so the season i put on here y'all i just put some um salt some pepper some cajun seasoning some seasoned salt some garlic powder um and some onion powder and that's it and then i topped it with some onion and bell pepper and now i'm fixing to stick this in the oven and let this cook for a couple hours um and then i'll check it after that and we'll i'll check it after an hour and I'll show y'all what it's looking like. All right, so we got the chicken seasoned up, y'all. So now all I'm gonna do is just top it with the remaining onion and bell pepper that I had left and then we're just gonna cover this up and let this cook for about an hour, I guess. Maybe a little bit longer to make sure it's um, good and tender. There we go. 
We're going to stick this in the oven, like I said, um, probably for about like an hour and 10, 15 minutes at 375. Okay, y'all, our cake is done. I just pulled it out. It looking good. It's smelling good. Yes. Okay, y'all, so my mom is here. She just put on the greens, and this is it. These are our greens, and she has some bacon up in there. And also, she hasn't made the cornbread up yet, y'all. But I'm fixing to pull this meat out and check this meat, y'all. So let's see what this meat is looking like. This is what the ribs is looking like, y'all. This stuff smells delicious. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to stick it back in the oven for about an hour. This is what our chicken legs is looking like, y'all. This stuff smells so good, y'all. It really do. But I'm fixing to turn this over. And I'm going to um, probably cook it for another 20 minutes, I guess. And it should be ready. This is the cake, y'all. And this is a red velvet cake. And this turned out perfectly. And this looks really, really, really good, y'all. So I'm going to ice in this up, and I'll show y'all what it looks like after I get all the icing on it. Okay, y'all. This is our cake. Got it all nice iced up. Get a good look at that, y'all. This looks so, so good. It's going to taste so, so good. And the icing I put on here with some, um, some cream cheese. Usually I put vanilla. So we're trying something different. We'll see if my son likes it. Because we'll see if he, he can tell the difference. Because usually I put vanilla, but this time I want to try something different. So I use the cream cheese. But this is our cake, y'all. So this is what our chicken is looking like, y'all. It is done. I have drained some of the juices off of it. Now I'm fixing to add some barbecue sauce to this and stick it back in the oven for about 10 minutes uncovered. Okay, chicken is nice and barbecued. Well... The chicken has barbecue sauce on it, so now I'm going to stick this back in the oven for about 10 minutes and let it finish cooking. Okay, y'all, these are our ribs. I don't know if y'all can get a good look at this because this camera is not doing these ribs justice right now. I'm get a good angle, but yes, these are our ribs. I mean, it is literally the bone has fell off of one of these ribs, so this is nice and tender, y'all, just the way I like it. So we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on it and then stick it back in the oven for about 10 minutes uncovered. And then our ribs will be ready. All right, so this is what our ribs is looking like. I'm trying to get a good angle to get a good picture of this, y'all. This is what our ribs are looking like. I just put some barbecue sauce on it. And once again, my camera is not doing its justice. It's not having a good color to it. Here we go, but this is it. So we're gonna stick this in the oven, y'all, for 10 minutes uncovered, and this will be ready, y'all. Also, y'all, let me show y'all a picture what these greens are looking like. Look, my mama's cooking these. This is what our greens is looking like. It's a lot of steam rolling off of it, y'all. You can't really get a good picture of it. But yes, we're having a big old pot of greens. And this is what I requested. I wanted greens. I got my water on for my macaroni and cheese, but I'm not going to show the whole process. But I will show you what it looks like once I get done with all of this. And also, my mom is cooking some cornbread with this. And I will show you what that looks like. I'll show you what everything looks like once it is ready. Barbecue chicken is done. So we're just going to sit this off to the side, y'all. Got a good angle so y'all can see this. Yes. Gonna set this off to the side and now I'm just waiting on the ribs um, to get ready. Okay, so the ribs are done. I just pulled them out, y'all. This is what they're looking like. So now we're just waiting for the greens to get done and I'm cooking the macaroni and cheese. Okay, y'all, so everything is done. I'm a little late with my plate, y'all, because um, everybody else done ate and nice and full, and I have not ate yet, and I just forgot to end my cook with me video. But anyway, y'all, this is what I have, and I am starving, y'all. It's 4 o'clock. I haven't ate nothing all day, and I'm hungry, and I am ready to 
eat this plate up for real. So we have some greens. We have some mac and cheese. I got me a piece of chicken, some ribs. I got a piece of cornbread, and I got me a piece of red velvet cake, y'all. But this is what we are having for our 4th of July dinner. I um, decided to do something different versus um, potato salad and baked beans, considering I cooked that for Memorial Day. I really didn't have a taste for the um, baked beans and potato salad this time. I wanted me some good old greens, y'all. So I elected to cook some greens and cornbread. Well, my mom, she cooked the greens and the cornbread or whatever versus um, potato salad and baked beans. But anyway, this is it, y'all. I thank y'all for watching. Please um, give me a thumbs up for this video. Um, please leave me a comment. Um, I thank y'all all for the support. And also, I want to thank everybody um, for subscribing to my channel. I have over 1,000 subscribers. Yay. I'm excited about that. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyway, this is my video. Y'all have a happy 4th of July. And y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.